New tonight, the feds have their eyes on gangs, specifically those involved in crimes ranging from drug trafficking to murder. And nationwide, more than 1,300 possible gang members were picked up by the feds over just the last few weeks. Now, tonight, a gang expert says gangs have a strong presence right here in the valley, and they may be in places you least expect. Gang expert Marianne Denner says there are a few prominent street gangs in the RGV. Your Tri City Bombers, your Po Boys, uh, which are your top two, I guess, street gangs. Um, you have some Latin Kings and you have some real Latin Kings down there. Two of the gangs the feds targeted were the Crips and the Bloods. Denner says those gangs in Texas are not like the Crips and Bloods in California. If most of these kids here in Texas knew what real Crips and real Bloods were like, they wouldn't even try to emulate. They wouldn't even try. They would get, let's, let's say, they would get weeded out very quickly. Another gang targeted by the feds was MS-13. Denner says while that gang is in the valley, most members are trying to leave. They want to come to Houston where it's a lot larger and they can blend in and they can do business better. Denner says prison gangs have a strong presence in the valley. She says many gang members are business savvy. They've got to launder the money somehow. You know, they may own strip clubs, they may own restaurants, they may own a movie theater. Denner says gangs aren't always involved in crime. She says some of them run legitimate businesses. People have an idea or a stereotype of gang members when in reality that's not true. Denner says gangs are spread out all across the valley and are in places you may never have thought possible. And so when people find out that they're in their neighborhoods, they're going, but I live in a good neighborhood. Well, yeah, well, they want to live in a good, safe neighborhood, too. On Denner says sweeps like this recent one by the Fed is fairly routine. And more of the more than 1,300 possible gang members arrested, more than 900 were U.S. citizens, while nearly 450 were from 21 other countries, including places in Asia, Africa, and even Europe.